Hi, this is Dr. Brian McDonough. This is a day I have dreamed of for quite some time. The final episode. A doctor in the pandemic is going to go away after 239 episodes. Coronavirus today, after more than 400 episodes, it's going away. I waited for this for so long. When I first started this trek, this seemingly endless series of reports and updates, the goal was to provide something that was not advertised, something that was, to the best of my ability, up-to-date, current, and trustworthy, and maybe a voice in the wilderness of some sort. I've heard from many of you. Many of you have appreciated this. I've heard very little negativity. And I like to think, based on the numbers, there were a lot of other people over time who saw these things. They're always going to be out there, maybe for historical purposes, but really, I can't see why anybody would want to see anything or relive this. But I do think that we had value at the time. So what have we learned? Well, selfishly, I learned that people stay with these things for about a minute, then they move on. The metrics tell me that. But what I've really learned from the standpoint of COVID and life is that there are no absolutes. No one has all the answers. And it's everything I learned from a career in medicine. You do the best you can with the information you have to help as many people as possible. And the thing is, none of us are perfect. So from a political standpoint, that would be my advice. When somebody tells you something is 100% or they have the answer, don't believe them because they're wrong. I can tell you you're wrong. There's no 100% solution. If someone tells you they're working on something and trying to figure it out and doing the best they can, reward them for that because they are the people who are making the difference. Pomposity doesn't work when it comes to science. You know, we're laughed at if we're pompous. And I learned that a long time ago as well. Finally, what are the next steps? Understand that COVID is going to be with us, just like the flu is going to be with us, just like cancer is going to be with us, like heart disease and breast cancer and all these things are going to be with us. We won't live forever. But what we need to do is try to avoid these issues, treat these issues, do what we can to come up with better options, and many of these things will go away as we learn more. But we won't live forever. We just have to maximize the time we have. And on a personal note, I saw, especially in the early stages of the pandemic, so many people, not just doctors and nurses, but going to the hospital and, and, and taking care of patients, all of the people who were out there, the people in, who were industry were, were getting things to us that we needed, uh, people who were working at some of the stores, people who were trying to do what they could at great personal risk. Many of them got sick. Many of them died. I mean, the numbers are staggering. But the reality is you could see the goodness in people. You could see the fact that we as a society can do well. We can always do better. But we should be proud of the way we handled this. And hopefully, hopefully, we've learned from this. So thanks for letting me come into your homes, uh, your cars, wherever it was. Uh, it's been an honor. And hopefully, you made a small difference. Please stay safe.